Hey everybody, it's Mike at Angler's Sports Center here with your weekly fishing report. Uh, so much happening right now. We are in the prime time fall season. Our weather's just starting to churn over. We still have tons of fish up here from the lower bay as, long, as well as um, all our local fish um, really hitting off really well. So with that, I wanna start with uh, some rockfish stuff. So they're really doing a little bit of everything. You can catch them on the troll, jigging, casting, bait fishing, the whole nine yards. Uh, but what's really, really kind of great this time of year is the shallow water bite. So that's our top water plug bite, uh, shallow water rattle traps, diving baits. Most of these fish you're gonna find are gonna be right at the mouths of the rivers, so the Seven River Mag at the Eastern Bay, um, or inside the rivers. What you're gonna look for is Structure points, uh, places where they can really uh, trap and attack bait fish, and those are the areas you're going to want to work early morning, late evening. Um, live lining is still good. We still have spot up here, um, and trolling is still good. Now the trolling, most people are starting to troll either smaller bucktail tandem rigs, which would be like four to six inch shads on the back of bucktails. Um, or spoons. So right now, Tony spoons are really popular as well as hard head spoons, generally in that size 14 to 17, which I believe is probably like a four to seven inch spoon. Uh, so those are gonna be the main baits people are working right now um, on the troll. And those are gonna be roughly trolling anywhere from 20 to 30 feet of water and just trying to mark some schools up with that. Um, white perch, they are starting to head out of the creeks a little bit. Um, you can still catch them on spinners in the creeks though, um, to an extent, but we do expect them to move out kind of fully in the next few weeks. So after that, look for them to school up on hard bottom um, or places like the Bay Bridge structure out in deeper water. So that's gonna, that's gonna be kind of what they're doing right now. Um, still, Week after week we say it, but the mackerel are still here. So I know this past week I caught them as far north as Baltimore light outside the Magathy, just trolling on uh, number one spoons with, um, uh, or number one planers with hard head spoons and uh, Clark spoons behind them. So that's still great. Really anywhere in the upper bay that you can just find fit or uh, birds working, you're probably gonna find those mackerel and a mix of bluefish working around with those as well as probably some undersized rockfish. Um, a few other things too, the crabbing is still on and it is still really, really good. So we have some really nice sized crabs going right now um, and that's gonna be most places in the bay, anywhere five to eight feet of water of depth. Um, a couple other notables, snakehead fishing has been picking up um, and that's kind of all around. It just seems like the bite's getting really good, especially with minnows, especially with top water bait. Um, down south, we also still have cobia running, redfish and um, so if you want to take a drive kind of Thomas Point light south and work the channels there, uh, 20 to 30 feet, that's still running good. Fishing hoses number three on number three planers or larger spoons on number three planers. Um, that's pretty much it for the fishing report this week. Definitely message us if you have questions. Um, if you want to check out all our videos, visit us at anglersannapolis.com. You'll also see all our other um, shows on there, guns and stuff. And this coming Monday, definitely check us out for what's hot. So we're going to have a new, new weekly show. We're starting on Mondays where we're just going to kind of go over new stuff that's coming to the store, um, that either we've never seen before, you've never seen before and, and just talk about it. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week.